Hi, welcome to Vitality Cairo Spa. Today we're going to be talking about migraines and cranials. So oftentimes women, men, young adults and children will come in having experienced headaches and migraines and they don't know where it's coming from. So the first thing we do is we check the skull, the cranials that make up the skull. There are 22 bones within the skull. We have eight large ones around our head and then the other ones are much smaller along the facial bones. So when people come in with headaches and migraines, the first bone we always look at is the sphenoid bone. That is this pretty pink bone that creates our temples on the left and right side and also behind the eyes. Those of you that are listening in right now may know of someone or have experienced this yourself with headaches or migraines and pressure behind the eyes. Now we have a clearer picture on where that's coming from. As we look inside the skull, we see a beautiful butterfly pink bone. This is still that same sphenoid bone. And through there, we see these different holes on the left and the right side. That is where the facial nerve exits through as well as the trigeminal nerve and then also the optic nerve which connects from the vision lobe of the brain back here all the way to the front so that way we have the ability to see. So when dealing with someone that has migraines or headaches we need to find out where do you experience your headaches and migraines? Is it on the temples? Any pressure behind the eyes? Or does it feel like it's coming straight through the middle? Now women sometimes will receive headaches and migraines around that time of the month. And regarding hormonal migraines and headaches, that has everything to do with the pituitary gland that sits here in the cella tersica, or the saddle of the sphenoid bone. The pituitary gland is the master hormone gland. And so during that time of month when hormones are being produced by the brain, there can be inflammation and create pressure, especially if this bone has been misaligned by moving forward or back, left or right, or being twisted. And so what we do here is find out where that misalignment is coming from and use gentle pressure to realign that cranial bone back to its normal position taking pressure off the pituitary gland, off the cranial nerves, as well as increasing oxygen, blood, and nerve supply back to the brain so it can function in the way it was supposed to function.